My name is Eric Sorcher. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I direct the Cystic Fibrosis Research Center in Birmingham, which was the first center really devoted to cystic fibrosis research in the country. When I think of CFTR, I think of it as a small passageway, almost like a door lining the airways. And when this door isn't made properly and when it's broken, chloride and bicarbonate can't pass through. And as a result, no water follows. And when no water follows, the mucus is very thick and hard to move. That's the reason for the problem with thick secretions in the airways of people with CF. The delta 5 white mutation is the most common problem in cystic fibrosis. And what happens is that the small passageways that line the airways are made almost perfectly, except the very small part is missing. The cells lining the airways recognize that that small part is missing. And as a result, they decide to take that passageway and destroy it so that it can never get to its proper position lining the airways where it needs to be in order to let chloride pass out and water follow to move mucus. As a result of this destruction of the delta 5 weight passageways or delta 5 weight CFTR, uh, there is no ability to properly move mucus in the lung. We've learned an immense amount of information about delta 5 weight CFTR just in the past few years. We know that the, that the, that the passageway for chloride works pretty well even when it has this mutation. But the problem is that the cell degrades or destroys the protein, the passageway, before it ever has a chance to act. As a result, if we can devise ideas about ways to uh, encourage the cell to let it get to its normal position at the cell surface, then we'll be able to help people with cystic fibrosis. And most importantly, just in the past few years, uh, a number of very promising strategies and small uh, therapies have, have uh, come to fruition that should allow us to do this in the future. The most exciting thing going on right now related to CFTR is the development of therapies that directly address the most fundamental problems in cystic fibrosis. There are different categories of cystic fibrosis depending on the mutation type. And for each of these different categories, there are new therapies, new drugs that can be given to overcome each of those sorts of defects. It's really like a dream come true. It's really as if five years ago we wondered, could this be possible? Could we discover drugs that could do this? And then over the last five years, the drugs have been discovered, they've been tested in the clinic, and now they're showing activity in ways that, uh, that create enormous momentum for helping people who are sick with cystic fibrosis.